Well, if you said mid-ocean ridges, then you would be correct. Uh, right, it should make sense that we have an enormous amount of volcanic activity very close to the surface, and it's around an enormous amount of water along mid-ocean ridges. So in this case, what we have is we have faults that are created, cracks in the Earth's surface and the crust that are created by the extension of the crust at mid-ocean ridges as the crust is literally being pulled away from the center ridge. As that happens, we get um, cracks, like I said, active faulting, that water can percolate down and into the subsurface of the Earth. So as it does that, it gets very close to the very uh, close to the surface magma that is um, creating new crust right along the trace of the ridge. As that happens, the water gets superheated and moved back up near the surface. When that happens, we get an enormous amount of very interesting, cool, exotic minerals and rocks that are created along the trace of the mid-ocean ridges. You can see over on the right, we have what's called a black smoker. And these black smokers are spewing out this really, really hot, mineral-rich seawater. So the combination of all these minerals that are in the rocks mixed with all the salts and the high temperatures really yield some really interesting metamorphic rock assemblies.